Who uh, who we have here, right here? Who's this guy? On my side, you know who that is. Yeah, who is he? That's Mauro Silva, chief cast designer extraordinaire. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And what, <laughs> what did, uh, Mauro, what was your uh, position in this car? In this car? <laughs> On the on the right side, <laughs> Jason's the driver. <laughs> now he's my right hand man. He, uh, without Mauro, none of this would be possible. He completed the entire computer model, uh, digitalized all the all the mathematical surfaces for the car, and did a phenomenal job as always. I can't say I can't say enough about about how uh, how great his work is. So Mauro, how is it working with Jason? Good, really good. Because uh, you feel free uh, to to be proposal, you know. You collaborate with the designer. You are not just uh, a machine. <laughs> Mauro has has great design sense, and we've we've worked and collaborated on a lot of projects together. And so there's a, a special synergy. There's a special synergy, and uh, I think you see it in the results. I think people will be, uh, be very pleased with uh, the results when they see the car. So how do you feel about how the car turned out? Did it turn out the way that you were expecting on when you see it in the computer? Even better. Even better. Even better, yeah. <laughs> until, until you see the actual car, I mean, when you're looking at it in scale on a screen, it's, it's one thing. But when you actually see it in its true environment, being outside, on the road, uh, at its proper height, uh, it's, a, it's a completely different impression. And uh, photos will never do it justice. You, know, you need to see the car in person. So we'll have to be sure to take it around quite a bit. talk about the lines of a car being beautiful. Probably not talking about it from a designer standpoint. This, this car is, is truly unique in that it's the car that, let's say, took this extreme wedge concept, you know, this uh, very geometrical wedging forward moving concept that was being developed on various prototypes of the late 60s, early 70s and put it finally into, into production. You know, so this is the realization of, let's say, this research of this, of this sheer form, the speed form, we like to say. Uh, and in, in this case, you have a car that is, certainly makes a very extreme message. Uh, it's a bit brutal, it's a bit crude, uh, but it's exceptionally dynamic, you know, because it has this singular wedging monovolume, which really gives this sense that it's literally planted to the ground and it can, can cut through air and, and maybe even <laughs> cut through some body parts. It's very, very sharp, it's very angular. And that's perhaps something that, let's say, makes it not beautiful in a classical sense, but it's a, an incredibly innovative and beautiful design from a designer's eye, certainly. Does it meet your expectations? It says behind my expectation. I was expecting a magnificent car, but it is beyond my expectation, absolutely. It means that uh, we have the capabilities to create uh, new cars in the line with uh, the Bertone tradition, to be innovative, to be creative. It's a breakthrough, again. So I'm very happy, I should say. I'll uh, double I'm enthusiastic. Sia una Bertone. We started uh, three weeks ago for the model. It actually is fantastic. Uh, I think uh, good. But uh, I think all people understand uh, the the new the new performance from Jason Castriota and the other designer. And understand uh, it's possible to have a good quality in the better in the best design.
View to you. Sure. Eh? Eh? No. Dai, dai, dai. I think uh, what do you two think Bradley is better. Right. Don, what do you think about the model from Shanghai? I think it's uh it's pretty innovative. Bradley, you are uh, the, uh, the last weekend you stay here with us for to check uh, the workshop action. What do you think about about the people work in the last day for to finish so fast the model? There it's an incredible team, you know. I've been along with the team since day one and it's uh, it's it's remarkable, it's an honor to be here, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. You like the car, your, your feeling with the car, with the model, what is your feeling, Bradley? My feeling is it's going to set the standard of what a new supercar uh, really needs to resemble. And uh, I look forward to seeing the, state, the, the world's reaction from it. Definitely speaking of you know, a different age, you know, there's something even today still radical about it, still very futuristic, very intriguing. This, let's say repetition of trapezoidal forms, triangular forms, which always connotate technology, you know, which always connotate strength and dynamicism. Those are forms that uh, unto themselves, if you were to see them on a piece of paper, uh, just the shape itself, a triangle or a trapezoid. You immediately conjure images of, of something technical, something dynamic. Whereas you know, when you see cars that are very round and voluptuous and soft, there's let's say more serenity involved. This shape has sort of an organized chaos. There's, there's something exceptionally dynamic about it, something nervous about it. Uh, much like the idea of Lamborghini, which are these kind of the raging bull, so to speak. So even to this day, when you see one, it really is a sight.